from the makers of chemotherapy is a waste of money and stop ADD and ADHD in 18 days by eliminating this, we proudly present to you, this is the best explanation of the vaccine autism connection I have ever heard. Another uh, component of, of autism, uh, at least that it's an argument anyway, is uh, vaccines. Um, you know, kids these days are getting multiple times more than, you know, when I was a child. Uh, is this making us healthier, uh, more protected, or what is it actually doing with no, these No, I mean, choices? I really think we've way overdone it on the vaccines. It, it's funny how we've managed to program people to believe so thoroughly that vaccines are awesome, you know? Mm -hmm. This was all set up with the polio and the smallpox, you know. We said, oh, yes, of course, vaccines are wonderful. When can I get a vaccine for this? You know, give me a vaccine that will fix this problem. We've got that entire mentality, which is amazing to me because the vaccines are full of toxic chemicals. And certainly I looked at the vaccines first, and I, and I, and I have a, there's a great database, the VARS database, Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. Very, very interesting. And I've looked at it. I mean, I'm a computer scientist. I did it. I mean, I'm a computer scientist. I mean, I'm a computer scientist. I mean, I'm a computer scientist. Actually, vaccines do not contain any toxic chemicals. And anyways, you are a computer scientist. You have no certification to be talking about the safety of vaccines. And anyways, who thought it was a great idea to have you talk about vaccines? It's like me going to Best Buy to have my chief checked up on. It don't make sense. From looking at VARS, and, um, and one thing really striking is MMR. MMR is the vaccine measles, mumps, and rubella. And Andrew Wakefield uh, connected that to autism way back when, like 1998, I guess. He had this paper yeah. in Lancet. Uh, which was very interesting, and he had taken these certain cases of kids with autism, connected it to the MMR vaccine, and he had a whole theory. In fact, he was... I'm reading off a paper because I don't spew nonsense. The study has been retracted from The Lancet back in 2010, and there has been 17 major studies debunking Andrew Wakefield's claims. So I don't really know why you're using a discredited study to... Prove your point, girl. Properly. Well, so it turns out, only recently did I figure out the connection to glutamate with MMR. So to save you the time and brain cells, I had to cut her off there. But if you're interested in watching the whole video, it's linked in the description below. To summarize her whole statement, she made a whole theory about how the glutamate in vaccines is causing autism in children. And she was sounding very intelligent. Heck, I didn't even know what glutamate was until I was doing my research for this video. So what is glutamate? Glutamate is a food additive commonly used in salad dressing. It's used in vaccines to stabilize them. The CDC has done countless of studies on glutamate. And you would think with the countless of studies they've done, if they were to find a link between glutamate and autism, they would inform the public by now. And vaccines don't cause autism still. Uh, these are we have tech vaxxers. <sighs> so all this is connecting up. And the same thing is true for the aluminum in the vaccines as well. And people have talked a lot about the mercury, and the mercury certainly sure. is. Yes, vaccines at some point in time did contain mercury. It was an ethyl mercury called thimerosal, and it's not even used in vaccines anymore, so you shouldn't stress about that. On the other hand, aluminum, I actually asked my doctor about this. Shout out to Dr. Burry if you're watching this. Hi. And she said that there is far more aluminum in breast milk than there is in vaccines. And you see babies doing just fine. No drinking that breast milk. And this goes to show with all this information that mercury and aluminum do not cause autism. In conclusion, 
get your kids vaccinated, get yourself vaccinated. You know why people aren't walking around with smallpox? Vaccines. You know why people aren't walking around with polio? Vaccines. They're safe, they don't cause autism, and even if they, they did cause autism, it's better to have an autistic child than a dead or sick one. Thank you. Good night.